It was the hushed eve of New Year when a plane, its engines humming in the velvety night, soared through the unseen peaks of the mountains. Unbeknownst to the passengers within, a cruel twist of fate awaited as the plane collided with the rugged mountainside, shattering the silence and sending echoes of the impact reverberating through the wintry night. The wreckage, once a vessel of hopeful travel, now lay strewn across the cold expanse, a testament to the fragility of life. As the survivors stumbled out from the wreckage, disoriented and shaken, the biting chill of the mountain air seeped into their bones. The darkness enveloped them, casting an eerie shroud over the scene. Huddled together amidst the wreckage, their breath visible in the frigid air, the survivors faced a harsh reality, they were stranded in the unforgiving embrace of the mountains, with the distant glimmer of the plane's wreckage casting long, twisted shadows in the snow. A palpable fear settled over the group as they took stock of their dire situation. The mountain, silent witness to their calamity, seemed to hold its breath, and the survivors, now bound by the shared trauma of the crash, exchanged glances marked by uncertainty. In the midst of the wreckage, the survivors grappled with the realization that their journey had taken an unexpected turn into the heart of desolation. As the night deepened, the survivors sought refuge within the broken fuselage, its skeletal remains a stark reminder of the catastrophic descent. The distant howl of the wind became a haunting melody, blending with the whispers of the mountain. Unseen forces, ancient and malevolent, seemed to linger in the frigid air, their presence manifesting in the unsettling shadows that danced across the snow. Amidst the wreckage, a collective unease settled over the survivors. The mountain, cloaked in a history of forgotten tales and tragedies, harbored a sinister secret that echoed through the desolate landscape. Little did the survivors comprehend that their struggle for survival would soon intertwine with the malevolent forces concealed within the mountains, setting the stage for a nightmarish encounter with the supernatural. As the night wore on, the survivors, their bodies aching from the impact and the biting cold, found themselves grappling with the harsh reality of their situation. The broken fuselage, now a makeshift shelter, offered little comfort against the unforgiving mountain night. The distant glow of the wreckage served as a haunting reminder of the catastrophe that had befallen them, casting long, distorted shadows across the snow-covered expanse. Within the confines of their icy refuge, the survivors shared uneasy glances, their breaths visible in the frigid air. The mountain, silent witness to their plight, seemed to harbor an unseen malevolence that lingered in the dark corners of their makeshift sanctuary. Whispers of ancient tales, carried by the biting wind, infiltrated their thoughts, intensifying the atmosphere of dread that clung to the wreckage. As the survivors huddled together for warmth, the night outside took on a sinister tone. The wind, now laden with another worldly chill, carried with it echoes of a forgotten past. The snow-laden trees, their branches creaking under the weight of unseen forces, became unwitting spectators to the unfolding horror. The mountain, now a canvas for the supernatural, held its secrets close, revealing glimpses of a malevolent presence that seeped through the cracks of the survivor's fragile composure. In the shadows of the fuselage, the survivors recounted their own personal horrors, their stories punctuated by the occasional distant howl of the wind. Unbeknownst to them, the mountain had become a stage for the paranormal, and as the night deepened, the survivors became unwitting players in a chilling drama orchestrated by forces beyond their comprehension. The once sturdy wreckage, now a vessel for the unknown, seemed to pulse with an eerie energy, casting a dim glow that painted the snow in unsettling hues. Outside, in the desolate landscape, the mountain itself seemed to awaken with a malevolent intent. Dark figures, concealed within the shadows, emerged from the snow-covered terrain, their presence revealed only by the distorted silhouettes they cast. Unseen eyes watched the survivors from the depths of the wintry abyss, setting the stage for a nightmarish encounter with the spectral entities that now encircled the crash site. As the night deepened, the survivors within the fuselage, unaware of the spectral forces that lurked just beyond the shadows, grappled with exhaustion and paranoia. The mountain, now a canvas for the supernatural, seemed to pulse with an unseen malevolence, casting an ominous glow that tainted the snow with unsettling hues. The distant howl of the wind intensified, harmonizing with the whispers of forgotten tales that lingered in the air. In the flickering light of their makeshift shelter, the survivors, their faces etched with weariness, exchanged glances fraught with uncertainty. The temperature within the fuselage plummeted, and an inexplicable darkness crept through the cracks, 
coiling around the survivors like an unseen serpent. The mountain, once a beacon of solitude, now harbored a malevolent force that sought to entangle the living within its wintry grasp. Outside, the spectral figures, their forms distorted and twisted, closed in on the crash site. The snow, now disturbed by unseen footsteps, bore witness to the dance of the shadows as the entities moved with an unnatural fluidity. The survivors, oblivious to the impending horror, remained confined within the fuselage, their breaths visible in the cold air as they clung to the fragile illusion of safety. As the night progressed, the supernatural forces surrounding the crash site revealed their true intent. Dark tendrils, emanating from the unseen entities, snaked through the snow and slithered towards the fuselage. The survivors, now gripped by an unexplainable dread, felt the temperature plummet further, and their breaths became visible in erratic bursts. One by one, the survivors succumbed to the encroaching darkness. The shadows within the fuselage seemed to ride with a life of their own, embracing the living and the dead in an unholy union. The once hopeful journey that had begun with the ascent into the mountainous night now culminated in a descent into the abyss of the supernatural. In the final moments, the surviving remnants of the ill-fated flight were swallowed by the shadows, their cries merging with the haunting echoes that reverberated through the mountain. The snow, now a silent witness to the night's macabre dance, cradled the remnants of the plane and its passengers in an icy embrace. As dawn broke over the desolate landscape, the mountain, now devoid of the living, stood as a solemn monument to the malevolent forces that lurked within its wintry heart. The survivors, their fates forever entwined with the shadows that danced in the snow, became part of the forgotten tales that echoed through the mountain's haunted expanse. The once silent peaks, now tainted by the chilling encounter, bore witness to a night that transcended the boundaries between the living and the spectral, leaving only the lingering whispers of an unholy dance in the cold embrace of the mountains.